The city of Bradenton is looking to possibly reinstall red light cameras at four major intersections downtown. The city now in the top 3% statewide in almost every category for crashes. Police are hoping new red light technology will help sway city council in their favor when making their decision, but that decision likely won't come until there's some guidance from the state and even federal government. ABC 7's Jess Daldrick joins us live from one of those proposed red light camera locations in downtown Bradenton with more details. Jess? Jacqueline, this is one of the busiest intersections in the city of Bradenton, 9th Street West and 6th Avenue West. It's also one of four intersections that Bradenton police found that drivers are most frequently running red lights. It happens, believe it or not, about four times every hour. But all of the red light cameras were taken out of the city in Braden of Bradenton back in 2016. So what would it take to put new ones in its place? We're kind of waiting to see what happens both in the legislature and the Supreme Court before we make a decision. Mayor Wayne Poston and the city of Bradenton are looking to follow the government's lead. The Supreme Court will decide whether or not it's legal to use cameras to catch drivers running red lights. Arguments in that case start on February 7th. Then there's the state. Lawmakers are also looking at a possible ban. It's probably not on their top five priorities, but it's lingering and around there. Seven red light cameras were removed from the city of Bradenton in August 2016 because of this uncertainty of the technology moving forward. So the decision is still on hold, but City Commission now has new research to contemplate after a presentation from Bradenton Police Department. The goal? Make city streets safer. A lot of people think we're doing this for the money. Uh, we actually took a loss last year. It cost us more than we brought in the red light cameras. There's new red light camera technology that not only detects when someone is running a red light, but also extends all cross traffic's red lights at that intersection to try to prevent accidents. Cameras are being proposed at these four intersections, Manatee Avenue and 1st Street, 6th Avenue West and 9th Street West, 6th Avenue West and 1st Street West, and 12th Avenue West and 14th Street West. Drivers have mixed emotions about it. I think there's times that you could, uh, you know, you, you mistakenly go through a red light and every time you get a, a ticket yeah. for 150 bucks, I heard, it, it, that's just, you know, sometimes it happens. I would never run it if I knew there was a camera on there. If neither the Supreme Court nor the state legislature ban these red light cameras, then the city could decide to move forward with installation. There's no time frame in place just yet, as this is the beginning of the conversation. Reporting live in Bradenton, Jess Aldrich, ABC7, your Suncoast News.